Hello everyone, my name is Larry Mowry and I'm coming to you from out in the uh, Oklahoma Panhandle. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say that I'm excited to be a part of this class. I uh, see a lot of different, that we're going to have a lot of different viewpoints uh, from a lot of different areas uh, and a lot of different levels. I feel like it's going to be very beneficial to me uh, in moving forward in my career. So. I'm looking forward to it. My autoethnography uh, comes from a topic that I'm sure we'll cover in, in some aspect or some point in this course, uh, and it deals with the uh, with ethics and the behavior of coaches. Uh, there's thousands of videos on the internet and uh, showing coaches out of control. Uh, there's organizations that's been set up to to try and help some of these coaches change to deal with their or rein in some of their activities. Uh, and there's even a reality TV show uh, dedicated to the topic. So um, uh, I hope this is is something that that we'll talk about a little bit at length. Uh, in my paper. I chose my uh, epiphany moment as the uh, 1985 Bob Knight chair throwing incident. And uh, although it really didn't affect me at the time, I was young and still in high school. Uh, and later on, reflecting back on it, it helped uh, me kind of decide how the, you know I wanted to do things. Uh, it was one of the first times that was one of the first times that type of behavior uh, had been seen or witnessed at such a large scale. Um, the game was live uh, on national television, and, and I feel like it brought up uh, two points that are particularly going to be particularly relevant to this course. <clears throat> Excuse me. Number one, uh, how much can a successful coach get away with, uh, not only in behavior, but uh, activities, uh, things like that. How much can a successful coach get away with versus a coach that's maybe not quite as successful or no success at all? Uh, in, in all the basketball that I've watched from uh, the college level, I, I'd like to kind of point that out. We're talking about, I'm talking about right now um, after after high school. Uh, in all the basketball that I've seen, uh, this is the only occasion that I remember uh, an athletic director actually being called down to uh, the the floor or the field or anything else uh, to address a situation. So I think that will be uh, uh, that'll be an interesting part of what we're talking about. Uh, Success, there's no doubt that Bob Knight was successful, but even with that success, his behavior at some point became too much for Indiana to to deal with, and, and he ended up leaving. Uh, however, he influenced many uh, coaches who modeled their behavior after, uh, his, after him because he had had that success. And, and they felt like that was maybe the map to winning. So, uh, case in point, Mike Rice uh, fired from Rutgers last year, uh, you know, for, for similar incidents. Uh, during the chair toss incident, uh, officials called the, the Indiana athletic director to come to the floor to help escort Coach Knight off the floor uh, and, and kind of restore order, a move that's extremely rare, especially at that level of play. I have been witnesses to several occasions where athletic directors in high school uh, have been called to, to step into certain situations. Um, I'm a high school basketball coach. So, uh, you know, I have seen that more so at the high school level. So my interest, I guess, with this topic, my interest lies in learning more uh, throughout this course uh, about the responsibilities and requirements uh, and and ethical obligations 
of, of being an administrator as far as, uh, you know, do what are our responsibilities to our coaches? What are our responsibilities to our schools? Legal responsibilities, uh, those sort of things. So that uh, moving forward, uh, I would like to be, you know, I'd like to have the athletic director's job. I'd maybe like to coach or, or uh, do some kind of uh, something with sports in college. So I think that this topic will help me learn uh, more about those uh, aspects of what we're trying to talk about here. So uh, that was my auto. That was my auto ethnography. Uh, it's been a while since I've been in class, so I'm trying to get my feet wet a little bit. And I hope this is. I think this is going to be a good experience. I uh, hope that I can contribute, uh, and, and I'm looking forward to uh, getting everything from from all of you. Thank you very much.